It's Leslie from Trips with Tykes. In addition to being a blogger, I do lots of Pinterest consulting, so I'm on Pinterest a lot. And one thing that I bump up against from time to time is someone having stolen one of my pins, taking one of my images and linking it to a blog post on their site in order to divert traffic. So I'm going to show you really quickly what to do if this happens to you. How do you report a pin when someone has stolen your intellectual property so that you can get the traffic back for yourself um, without also doing any damage to your own Pinterest account in the process. So here's an account right here um, that has stolen a lot of family travel pins that I discovered today. And I'm going to scroll down to find one that I know has been stolen from a site I work with, Traveling Mom. You can see right here it's branded Traveling Mom. Things to know when you're sick at Walt Disney World. And if you hover over it, you can see this does not lead to TravelingMom.com. This leads to TravelHangout.org. Obviously someone has hijacked the pin. So all you do is you click on it like I just did. And you click on these three little dots up here. And you go to Report Pin. And it gives you a couple of choices as to why you want to report this pin. And this is our intellectual property at Traveling Mom. So we select that. Hit Next then you need to file a report. And this is a quick and easy form that Pinterest gives you as a way to notify them of copyright infringement. Um, it's basically a DMCA takedown form, uh, if you're familiar with that from other social media platforms or from sites stealing your content. So all you need to do here is just fill out the form, uh, put in your name, address, and then you need to identify your original work. So what you need to do is actually provide the URL of your original blog post that has your pin in it that's been stolen. So you can show this was mine first. So navigate to that site, find the URL, type it in, and explain that someone has taken that image and connected it to link to their own site. And now you need to put in the URL of the infringing pin. So I'm going to go back over to the pin, the stolen pin, paste in that URL. And then these are the two most important things that you have to get right. Do not click this box that says remove all. A lot of people think, oh, I'm going to click that, and then all of these hijack pins will get stolen. Well, they, I mean, we'll get, we'll get taken down. They will all get taken down, but it will also take down your legitimate copies of the pin that lead to your blog post, anything that image matches. So do not click this, because if you do this, you will kill your, your own pin, which will hurt your own traffic. But what you do want to select is this strike button. And this strike button sort of puts a, a black mark on the account that pinned this image in the first place. And if an account gets enough black marks, Pinterest will eventually take it down. So if you know that there's an account that's stealing a lot of your friends and fellow bloggers pins, then you really want to file this because it helps everyone, um, legitimate content creators on Pinterest to not have their content stolen. And you can do, if you see multiple copies of the same pin, you can add another and do the same thing here and do it all in one form. And then you have to swear under penalty of perjury. This is a legal form um, that you are the owner of the material and that the notice is accurate. And then you type in your electronic signature. And I haven't filled out the whole form. But when you fill out everything, the submit button will turn red and you simply hit submit. And that's it.